hey hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and we are back here at Blue Crab Island, Mississippi and I had just gone out a little bit earlier to see if I couldn't hit a tarpon hot spot that had been given to me a quite a long time ago. Uh, I was starting to catch them and then suddenly it started raining and then the biting just stopped right in the middle of the peak. So the weather definitely seems to have an effect. So I've decided that since the weather wasn't cooperating at that time, I'm going to go and move to another location. And we're going to look for something different not other than tarpon at this point. I think we might come back to that. So at least I know for this, this is a great place to get XP where I'm going to be taking you guys. At least it was in the fisherman. So... Let me go ahead and get to a private room here. Alright guys, that was the spot I was fishing at. And if you look at the map, this is where we were at. I'm going to actually come down to this spot right here. Now, I don't have a marker for this one, but when Delacaba and I were fishing here in the Fisherman, if you cast out this direction, you can really do well with the common snook. And I think that's where we're going to work with if we can at this point. So let me go ahead and get back in the boat and get it started, and we'll head over there. Might help if I pulled anchor there. What we're going to do is we're going to be going back here into this little... Yeah, you can already see some big fish in front of us here. Well, we'll go ahead a little bit. But yeah, yeah, you see what I mean? I'm going to go right at the head of this. And we're going to turn this boat around. Actually, let's go ahead and hit the anchor, and then we'll turn the boat around. With the trolling motor. But this is the spot that we were fishing at, and we were doing really well. If we spin this boat around a little bit. And kind of back it up. Not too far because I want to be able to cast up in here. I'm not seeing anything on the sonar at this point. Am I hitting something? Yeah, I am. Oops. Okay, let me make sure I'm in the right spot here, guys. Well, I think I am. Might have gone too far, I don't know. I know at the mouths of these estuaries, there's often a lot of big fish. See right now I'm not picking any up, so wait a minute, there's one. So let's just go ahead and stop there. We'll set the anchor. And then we'll start throwing on our bottom rods here. And I think anywhere along here probably ought to be good. Now I'm gonna try the large minnow there. Maybe scaled sardine. 
Now let's try the Gulf Shrimp. See, I can get some distance with this, so I'm going to throw this all the way out to here to cover the mouth of that. And I think I'm going to use my... Well, I might try some lure fishing. But I am going to change whatever bait I have on here. I think I'm going to use... I don't know how well they bite on flat spoons here. So I might just try this medium spoon. So I do know they go for that. And we can get a little bit of distance out of that too. It's a little too fast. Yeah, well, that was pretty quick. I'm thinking this is probably a snook or something. Let's see. No, it's a red drum. Usually I get snook here quite a bit. They love the flat spoons. Not the flat spoons, but the medium spoons. And the tiger spoon especially. Apparently so do the red drum. What's nice about right here is usually you get quite a few bites. And we're just going into the peak, so... There we go. That's uh, this one. Gulf shrimp. Yep, they love the gulf shrimp. Yeah, this is a pretty heavy duty rod. It's kind of misleading on how big or small they might be, but I think this is a striped bass. There we go. Fine looking fellow. Okay, I had that at right that location. Let's try over here. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd give this triple runner a try. I've seen the snook go for it in the past. But I'm not going to be able to get anything really very big. There we go. That would be number two. Let's see if we actually get a fish on there this time. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Bonefish. Haven't seen this one yet. I think they're kind of a cool looking fish. Not usually very big. Can't really get a good shot there. There we go. Yeah, they're real slender. They got a pointed snout. You get some unique ones. And they're not too bad with the XP at that point. It's kind of nice to get something a little different occasionally. OK, 
Okay, I have not gotten any bites off of this in the center. Let's try the crab. Oh, there we go. As soon as I moved it. When you know it. <laughs> yeah, usually usually you do get something off of the gulf shrimp. Now whatever this is is much bigger than the last one was. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, now there's a common snook. About the same well, a little bit bigger than the bonefish, but not too much, but same similar shape. Except he's got a little kind of a sloping forehead and not as many scales. I've heard these are kind of an oily fish. I don't know if that's true. Let me know guys. I've never fished for them, but are they kind of oily? Do you have to do something specific to... I mean, are they good eating? I mean, I really don't know. I've heard a lot of people catch them, but just because you catch the fish doesn't always mean you eat them. <laughs> Sometimes they're just sports fish. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab this first rod. Actually, that's not the rod I thought I had. I already had the first rod. Well, we'll go ahead and reel this in. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying a little bit of everything here. It's been a while since I fished. Blue Crab Island in... Damn. I'm mainly going from what I can remember. Yeah, I was looking. I think it's been over a year since I did this in The Fisherman. I think we got us another common snook here. Yep. Oh, they are definitely going for that. I want to try a little bit closer here. I just have this feeling there's something lying in that little grove of bushes or whatever. Yeah, I was making sure that they really had it. Now see, he was close. That's what I was saying. Ooh, and bigger bone fish than last time. You had a feeling about that spot. I still do. I think there's like maybe a small school of those guys. Maybe I can get a bigger one this time. I really wish I could remember just exactly where all the good spots are. I'm trying here, guys. The weather isn't always cooperating either because it's cloudy and that kind of messes with things, too. There we go. Just had to be a little bit patient. What do we got here, guys? I think we got us another snook. Ooh, there we go. Trophy. I think we just need to speed things up a little bit. I think it's still going to be length. No, I'm actually holding him. That's what I was hoping. That we can get a better look at him. There he is. 
Common Snook. One thousand eighty three cash, three twenty three XP. Not bad XP. Not bad. I think it might have been what I was doing wrong. I was going too slow. And I took it up three notches with a stop and go. My problem is I might get a snag this time. I just kind of keep it hovering in the water. I think the speed is. They see it flash by and they go after it. Some fish like it slower. I knew it was going to be that one. I haven't gotten anything off the crabs. Yep, we definitely got us a bonefish location here. Trophy bonefish. Nice. Nice. There we go. Not quite as big as the snook, but see the large scales he's got on him? I can't seem to turn around. I wish I could. I want to get him in better light. So getting a picture isn't going to really be all that great. He flips so much. There we go. We might have got it. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'm going to mark that spot because... And yeah, bonefish are... Bonefish are here, basically. <laughs> Not getting as much on the lures here. I'm gonna have to check back on some of my old videos to see what I was using then. Because honestly, I do not remember what I was using. I thought I was using the medium spoon. But I'm gonna go to the float rod now. Let me see here. I think I might. Too bad it isn't alive. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the things the bonefish goes for. Let's try these sea worms. I have not caught anything off of a sea worm yet. I haven't even tried it. And for some reason, this one over here is not, they're not biting over there anymore. So I think I might move that. Over here. And then try the float rod with the sea worms. Maybe the bonefish will go for that instead. Well, moving that one was a good idea. Another common snook. Let's try that over here. And yeah, maybe I just need to move it around a little bit. Well, I definitely got a bite. Something is. And there it goes. What do we got here? Bonefish? Yep. Well, they like the sea worms. Let me go with a little bit bigger hook, though. Let's do a size 7 cap and hook. Captain Hook.
Yeah, the bonefish are still hanging out here. They just, for some reason or another, quit biting off the bottom. Alright guys, I am in another location because I was getting less and less bites. And I came over here to this location on the map. Now we were up here. And now we're down here. And I tell you, I'm getting a lot of blips off of this. I swear to God, lots of them. So I'm going to check this out for a little bit here. I'm going to try to position the boat a little bit better than this because this is kind of crappy but we'll use the trolling motor for that but I was seeing some massive fish out here and I don't know if this was let me take a look at the map again I'm pointed this way. This might have been one of the spots too, and I've also looked at for a while too. But I'm not seeing the big fish anymore, of course. <laughs> but I think I'm still, if I can do this right. Position the boat to where I can cast. Oh shoot! It's not as easy to do as it would appear. If I back myself into this, then throw anchor, come back. I can cast a whole bunch of different directions down these little pathways, and we might get lucky and get something kind of cool. We'll see. Just got to be sure I know which one I'm picking up at all times. Alright, let's see. There was something really big right over here. Kept blipping all over the place. Now this... Yeah, that's right. And then we've got this one. I don't know if I'm going to use the golf shrimp. I think I might use... large minnows I think it's where I first saw the blips was right in here and we're gonna see I'm not going to use that by any means. Let's see here. I want to try these single spoons. I'm just curious if they're going to work. They might not. But if they do, that would be cool because it's not even on the list. Oh, I did catch a snag. See, I think the striped bass would go for this. There, well, I'll be damned. Something did go for it. Ooh, and it is, it is pretty darn good size. Ha 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 ha, perfect, 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 perfect. There you go, and it was off of a lure that it isn't even supposed to get them. There you go. 
unique common snook. I got my unique. At this point, I didn't even care what it was. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, he's 36 pounds. It's not a bad fish. Yeah, we're going to get a picture of him. Quite a bit of XP too. Caught him right through there. A single spoon. The perch. Single spoon. And now we're getting one off of the sec second one? Yeah. Let's see what we got here, guys. He's not real big, but it is a bonefish. It is a bonefish. The only problem is, is that I didn't get to put my marker there. Darn it. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I can guesstimate about where it was anyway. Ah, shoot. I didn't want really. I wish you could back up. But yeah, I caught him right around there. Right around there. Let's see, where should we? Well, let's cast it way over here. Let's just see if what's hanging out out there because I saw some big fish as I was coming in, too. That's yep, number two. Gotta make sure I get the right size. And I caught a snag. And I caught another fish. Damn, they really like this lure. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought the medium spoon was their favorite, but I'm starting to think this is this might be it. At least on partly cloudy days. Yeah, the common snook, they kind of go for a lot of different things, so. And out of all the uniques I've caught at this location, they were the most easily caught. Now, let me see here. Might. thinking about trying one of these other single spoons but I don't wait a minute here we go since this one's green it might stand out a little better for him but it looks like I'm getting a bite off of something yeah, this is off of large minnows This might be a black drum. Yeah, I can somehow tell. It's like the way they fight. They have a certain style of fighting. Well, let's see if there's anything right at the entrance of that. Now, as far as my lures go, I want to try this just to see if they're going to go after it because of that coloration. This low light, they might be able to see it better.
I'll be damned. Sure did. They sure did. Trophy red drum. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I keep thinking about light levels and time of day. It's not just a matter of peaks. The weather. Yeah, for some reason here, if it rains, it's the fishing gets a little on the lousy side. I have a feeling, though, if we go for catfish, we could probably still get them. But the biggest they have is the gaff top sail, and well, they just don't come very big. But I'm kind of glad I just changed that because now I'm getting a really good bite. Some reason they weren't biting off the crab, but they like the sand flea. What do we got here? Another red drum. Yep. Now, on the fisherman, I was catching a lot more of the snook, but here I'm catching red drum left and right. Not that I mind. Lots of XP. Lots of cash. How much have I managed to see? 15,989. Biggest so far, unis, unique common snook. And the trophy red drum just behind it. You can get a trophy bonefish. Definitely getting another trophy common snook. Hmm. Yeah, they like those single spoons. That is something to note. Oh, looks like I'm getting bites on two of them all at once. Come on. This one I can get in fairly quick. Another snook. So this is where we're going to bring in the fish. Late at night. As long as our mouse works. <laughs> Another red drum. Red drum. Red drum. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I'm not sure how much longer this is gone, but I'll tell you, it's probably a good place to stop here, guys. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure and share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.